The story begins... One really cares. That's not cynicism, it's a reflection of the reality of this year's baseball season in which the fans stayed away from the Major League ballparks by the millions. Attendance is down a full 20% from two years ago. Whatever the reason, strikes, overpaid players who can't hit, field, or pitch, greedy owners trying to squeeze the last buck from the fans, you should know that Americans still love baseball. And here's the proof. 6,188 fans are in the house tonight. Out in the Bush Leagues, you'll notice a couple of things. The stands are full, full of families. The game is played on grass, real grass as it's come to be called. The ticket price, four to six dollars. The team, the mighty St. Paul Saints of the less than mighty Northern League. Ten minutes away in the big leagues in the twin city of Minneapolis, you'll notice the stands are not quite full. The ticket price may be 17 bucks. The game is played on real plastic. Not that you can tell from up here. And the team is the Wobegon Minnesota Twins. Back on the other side of the tracks is a sight you will not see in any major league ballpark. That man taking tickets is the owner of the team. He spends his time doing everything he can to get him in the tent. You want to take people by the throat and say, you will notice what I'm doing. If it means you have to set yourself on fire. His lineage is impeccable. He is Mike Vec, son of the late Bill Vec. Vec as in wreck. A legendary major league owner who'd do anything to get warm backsides into cold seats. He once signed a midget just to frustrate opposing pitchers. The fans loved him. Big League Baseball hated him. Like father, like son. Cheap theatrics. Um, I do love parades. I love circuses. I love silliness. I love humor. Incongruity is a wonderful thing. So we have a nun who gives massages. Gosh, that's the silliest thing in the world. In the world, and is it irreverent? She's a real nun. Yes, she is. A ballpark is meant to create conversation. It's a celebration of humanity, and the one thing that people share in common that cuts across all socioeconomic boundaries is laughter. And so it's nonstop sight gags, silliness. Two I'm, dead fat guys. Dead. Two dead fat guys. You know, Elvis Presley and Babe Ruth <laughs> had the misfortune of dying on the same day, and that makes them <laughs> fair game as far as I'm concerned. Let's go, Patrick. The Saints have bat boys and girls, but they have a ball pig familiar to every umpire in the league. Vec feels rules are for the game, not for anything else. But it is baseball that keeps the fans coming back, filling every one of those 6,000 seats every game. And what they get is baseball close-up. Hey, way to hold the runner, 22! To some, baseball as they remember it. Even a washout becomes part of the celebration. Where else would fans pitch in? Where else would you see the owner shoes off mopping up the field? Certainly not in Yankee Stadium. The person who goes to a Saints game does not go to see the stars of tomorrow play. Nick Coleman is a columnist for the hometown St. Paul Pioneer Press. These guys are one bum knee, one bad pitch, or one sprained ankle away from going back to the auto body shop. We go to the ninth with the score. St. Paul 5 and Sioux City 3. This is St. Space. It is people's baseball in the stands and on the field. The average salary, a thousand a month for three months. It's surely not the money. The game's the thing. Hey, on the air, you're done. Ball. I said the ball's inside. You Bush can't League or man. not, it is baseball. You, threw, you called the ball wrong. No, I didn't say anything to do. I, I said the ball's you off inside. I want to throw you you're out. You're so I be foolish. You can't throw me out for that. This is wrong. baseball. Wrong. Oh, no. Baseball. I know what the. Most of the Saints have two strikes against them before they even suit up. A few have been to the big leagues, but most know they'll never get there. But a man can dream. When you show up at my door, <laughs> you are at the end of your career. 
I think that every one of these guys understand that this league is founded with the idea that there's one last hurrah in all of us. It's hard to find any such noble principle in any major league city. Over in Minneapolis, for example, at the Metrodome, you'll find a ballpark that's become a shopping mall, putting the squeeze on for that last quarter. And an evening out offers a family little for the spirit and even less for the pocket. It's going to cost you $100. And if the game is bad, which they often are, and incredibly long and dull, which they often are, and you don't feel like anybody here is appreciating your attendance, you go home thinking, I don't think I'll do that again anytime soon. <laughs> for much less than 100 you get to see the two-time Northern League champs. And you get to see your neighbors as well. Take me out to the ball. A night out with the Saints may be the purest reflection of St. Paul's homespun nature, where celebrating the Saints' success is made sweeter by Minneapolis's big-time summer of discontent. Sibling rivalry, civic style. In Minneapolis, they just they have nightclubs. They opened up a nightclub recently that has bondage a go go. You know, and we don't do that in St. Paul. In St. Paul, they have bowling night on Wednesday. In Minneapolis, it's bondage a go go. <laughs> so it's uh, it's Sodom and no Gomorrah. Yes, exactly, exactly. And St. Paul's certainly not the New Jerusalem of baseball. But in a town like this, in a park like this, it's not the quality of play that fills the stands. Hi, babe. All right. Come on, Turbo. All right. All right, all right. All right, all right. All right. All right. Jeez. What it is, is the living nostalgia of a wholesome Midwestern night out. Plus a dose of baseball fantasy as well. Okay. Uh, How's this for a face and a name emerging from some mystic field of dreams? My son First base coach, bad, huh? Wayne Terwilliger. This is my 46th year. 46th? 46. 46, that's right. Nobody's bounced around major and minor league baseball quite as much as Terwilliger. 26 teams in 24 cities. Twig, as he's called, was hired by the Saints after being ignominiously dropped last season by those soulless fools over in Minneapolis. How has it changed in 46 years? Well, not much. Outside of the salaries, really, the game's about the same. You still got to catch it and throw it. I enjoy the eighth and ninth inning, a close ball game, just like I always did. The old adrenaline starts flowing, you know. When Sean on a base hit, make sure he sends him, huh? No, I get excited. I love it. Give me a, a fan profile. Who these people are. 25, 54, 55 percent white collar. Even though I'd like it to be the other way. Families. Very good. And I got 150 pages of research to back it up. Mike Vec was once an executive with the Chicago White Sox but was unofficially drummed out of the major leagues after one of his goofier stunts, a disco demolition, turned into a riot. His road to redemption led to St. Paul. He has since reformed, only slightly, and he still thinks he knows what's right and what's wrong with baseball. If at Yankee Stadium you pay $25 for a box seat, then you better have a laugh or two. Owners once in a while should wander down into the stands, risk getting a splinter, and talk to people who generally can run their ballparks better than they can. And they should have fun working in this business, and they don't. Fun's in short supply. As warm and fuzzy as minor league baseball looks, do not be fooled. It's big business, bigger this year than ever. The teams can be worth as much as $10 million. But unlike the majors, owners have managed to keep fans loyal and enthusiastic in most of the 200 minor league cities. To fans, the Pawtucket, Rhode Island Red Sox stand as tall as their Boston brothers, but are a little more friendly. The Norwich, Connecticut Navigators know that you cannot separate the fans from the game, and without the kids, the game is over. 
And it's the same in Portland, Maine, and Durham, North Carolina, and Sioux Falls, South Dakota. Mike Veck knows it, too, but says the major leagues just don't get it. You open the field gates at the end of every major league game, after every single game, and you put two players, one at the end of each dugout, home and away, and they sign autographs for kids for 45 minutes after every single ball game. For 45 minutes, not for $45. For 45 <laughs> minutes. <laughs>